Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same God who gave us a new pastor, Pastor Joseph Gabriel Marwa. Hallelujah. I'm so excited in what I'm going, I'm about to say. It has God that Pastor Marwa now serving in a different capacity. It has pleased God that he brings another pastor at Mzumbe Christian Center. And I want to tell you, he's one of the best pastors I have ever known. He's one of the best pastors. In fact, when I, I heard, a few days ago when I heard of this pastor who is coming to this church, I looked at God and said, God, what has Zoom Christian Center done to you? You are giving them so much favor. Because every pastor who comes here is one of the best. Why? Oh Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, let me announce to you that God is giving Mzumbe Christian Center pastor, pastor, pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hall Do you want me to say it? Do you want me to say it? Do you want to say me to say it? Now let us let me look at his name. Hallelujah. This is a good God that we are serving. God is giving us a new pastor. Pastor Gregory Mganga. Pastor Gregor Daudi Mganga. I want to ask him to stand and his wife help. I want him to stand wherever they are. I want you to turn around and wave to the congregation. Hallelujah! 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 Pastor Joseph Gabriel Marwa was Moses. God is giving us Joshua. Pastor Gregory Daudi Mganga is our Joshua. Is our Joshua. Now, you may be seated. We will do official installation of him in the, after the, in the second service. And if you are not in a hurry, you can remain after the second service, not after, in the second service, we will make an official installation of him. So, if you can wait, please wait. Now, you remember, you remember what the Israelites did after Moses, uh, sorry, after God appointed Joshua. In the portion of scripture we have read, what did they say? To Joshua. They said, Joshua, Joshua, in as much as we were obedient to Moses, your predecessor, we will be obedient to you, Joshua. Whatever you say, we will do. Wherever we send us, we will go. We acknowledge that you are our new leader. Mzumbe Christian Center International members. I want to encourage you to do the same. Joshua is here. And you have been with Joshua already, haven't you? This week you have seen the spirit of the Lord is upon him. And let me tell you, if it was a movie, that was just a, a trailer. A trailer. 
The full movie is coming. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Allow me to say something in Swahili and then I will go back to English. There are things that sound better in Swahili. Hiki ambacho mchungaji Gregory amekifanya wiki hii alikuwa na testi mitambo. Shughuli yenyewe bado. Hallelujah. Mimi ninamfahamu mchungaji. I know this pastor. I always admired him. The first time for me to get to know him was through Wapo Radio. There was a program he was running every Friday. Was it every Friday? Every Friday. Now I heard his voice without before seeing his face. The voice was heavy. And I could make imaginations of how a tough person he is. Only to find out it was the spirit of the Lord that was making the voice heavy. But when you look at his, at his, his physical physique, He's just a simple little boy. But the Holy Spirit is upon him. When the Holy Spirit is upon you, it doesn't matter how old, how, how you look. Because it is not you. It is not by power or by might. But by the Spirit of the Lord, it says the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When I saw him, I felt like, why... Is God not allowing him to come and help me in the church? But it has pleased God. He should be a lead pastor of this church. So I want to tell you, you have a wonderful pastor. Is a pastor that a lot of people admired him and they wanted him to be their pastor. But you have found favor before the sight of the Lord that he should lead this church. So I want to ask you, Please, please, accept him as your leader and be obedient and loyal. He is going to tell you, God is a God who allows leaders to take us from one place to another. Whoever has been here has taken us to some level. Pastor Gregory, Mar uh, sorry, Pastor jo Joseph Marwa has taken this church from wherever you were up to this level. There is a level that has taken us. Gregory is going to take you from and to I don't know where. Only sky is the limit. So accept him and we are going to do an official installation in the second service. Now before I pray, I would like to ask our bishop for uh, Morogoro North to speak a few words and then we will say a word of prayer. Here, katika kanisa la TAG hapa mzumbe Christian Center lilopo Morogoro kanisa lilokuwa linasimamiwa na mtumishi wa Mungu mchungaji Joseph Maru ambaye sasa hivi Mungu amempandisha viwango ni katibu mkuu wa Tanzania Assemblies of God sasa Mungu amewapa mchungaji mpya mchungaji Gregory Daudi na hapa niko na moja wa mshiri ya uh, mshirika wa hapa katika kanisa hili la Mzumbe twenda tusikie wamepokeaje ujio wa mchungaji mpya mama bwana Yesu asifiwe amina unaomba tukufahamu unaitwa nani mimi naitwa Oliver Tairo ni mshirika wa kanisa hili takribani miaka saba sasa hivi tangu nimahamia hapa Mzumbe ni kwamba ni tumekuwa na wachungaji tofauti tofauti na mimi ninavyoelewa kazi ya Mungu ni kwamba kila mchungaji anayeletwa kuna makusudi yake na kwamba Mungu hafanyi kitu chake kwa kubahatisha. Na kusudi la Mungu kumuondoa mchungaji Marwa pia Mungu ana makusudi yake. Neno la Mungu linasema kwamba Mungu anajua maisha yetu, nyakati zetu za baadaye pia ziko mbele za Mungu. Na ni kwamba Mungu alivyo anajua pia kwenda kwetu, anajua kutoka kwetu. Na alivyomtoa mchungaji Marwa sio kwamba ni kwa bahati mbaya, ana makusudi kwa ajili ya kanisa lake ili lipate kusonga mbele zaidi katika taifa hili na kwa ajili ya kuinua pia kazi yake. Na pia mchungaji huyu Marwa, huyu mchungaji David nani Gregory alivoletwa ni kwa mpango wa Mungu na tumempokea vizuri na ni mtumishi mmoja mzuri sana. Mtumishi yoyote anayewekwa na Mungu katika kanisa 
tu yani kwa mimi ninavyoelewa ni kazi ya Mungu na ni tunajua kwamba ni mzuri tu si hatuwezi tukamzungumzia vibaya maana Mungu pia ana makusudi na kanisa hili kwa kumleta pia huyu Gregory ni mchungaji mmoja mzuri tumemuona ni mtumishi na kwa jinsi nilivyomuona ndani ya wiki moja ni kwamba ni mtumishi aliyejitoa kwa ajili ya kuifanya kazi ya Bwana kwa hiyo Mungu ana makusudi kwa ajili ya kumuinua marwa na ana makusudi pia kwa ajili ya kumweka pia Gregory mahali hapa ninamtukuza Mungu kwa hilo barikesa amina Jamani kaka bwana asifiwe. Ah. Unaitwa nani? Naitwa Seti Thomas. Eh naona sasa hivi Mungu amebariki amewabariki kanisa lenu mmepata mgeni uh, mchungaji mgeni mchungaji Gregory Daudi. Wewe umempokeaje na unazungumza nini kwamba una unaahidi nini kwamba utampa ushirikiano gani? Uh, kwanza kabisa ninamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu naona kama ni okay sana the way alivyosimama mara ya kwanza Jumapili iliyopita. Ah, binafsi kwanza niliona ni kitu cha kipekee sana. Actually naona ni baraka kubwa sana kuwa na yeye. Maana ni mtu ambaye kwanza amejaa mafuta ya Mungu, anapokuwa anaongea, kuna kitu unakisikia kwamba anaongea. So niko blessed sana na uwepo wake. Na swala ushirikiano, ni jambo ambalo moja kwa moja limeshaanzia toka siku ya Jumapili ambayo tumemuona mara ya kwanza. Okay. Kwa najisikia furaha sana kwa na yeye. Barikiwe sana. Amina sana. Asante. Mtazamaji ni mmoja wa washirika walioko hapa bado. Naendelea kuzungumza na washirika hapa dada habari. Salama. Naitwa nani? Naitwa Anet. Ongereni kwa kumpata mgeni, mchungaji mgeni. Asante. Tuambie unalipokeaje hili? Ah, kwa ngumi nimefurahi, nimefurahi sana kwa sababu Mungu ametutoa hatua moja kwenda hatua nyingine. Mm. Unaidi nini kwa mchungaji mgeni ambaye mmempokea mlimzoea mchungaji Joseph sasa hivi mko na Gregory? Ni kitu gani ambacho unakaidi kwa mchungaji wako mgeni pamoja na mama mchungaji? Tunaahidi kwamba hatutaangusha tutakuwa pamoja naye. Ya tutamwacha, tutamwombea zaidi na zaidi Mungu aweze kumuinua na kumtumia zaidi na zaidi. Amen. Amen. Barikia sana. Amina. Na majina yangu naitwa Isaya Mlonganile. Mm. Mm. Wewe ni mshirika au ni mzee wa kanisa kwenye ile kanisa? Mm, mimi ni mshirika wa ile kanisa na ni mgeni pia kwa siku ya leo. Okay. Natokea Dar es Salaam, nilikwepo hapa kwa muda mrefu nilikuwa Shemasi uh, 2020 2019. Okay. E, mempata mgeni, mchungaji mgeni, mlimzoea mchungaji Joseph Marwa, sasa hivi mko na mchungaji Gregory Daudi. Umepokeaje ujio wa mchungaji huyu? Ah kwa kweli tumepokea vizuri sana. A, kwa sababu kwanza ni sio mchungaji mgeni. Alikuwa akitutembelea hapa mara nyingi sana. Kwa hiyo tunamfahamu, tunamjua, tumempokea kwa furaha kwa kweli. Ni kitu gani ambacho unakaidi? kwa ushirikiano kutoka kwa mchungaji pamoja na mamchungaji uh, ushirikiano wetu kama kanisa la MCCI uh, tunaahidi kushirikiana naye kwa kila jambo ambalo ata, anaweza kutuelekeza kama watoto tutakubali tutaenda naye madam tu yeye ni kiongozi wetu lakini pia tunajua ni mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye anasimama badala ya sauti ya Mungu. Kwa hiyo tuko pamoja naye na tunamwaahidi ushirikiano wa hali ya juu sana. Barikia sana kaka. Amen. Amen. Mungu awabariki pia. Okay, jina langu ni Joshua Dwende. Nimeokoka na mpenda Yesu ni mshirika wa Mzumbe Christian Center International. Ya. Tuambie mmempokea mgeni, mchungaji mgeni ambaye uh, leo ame, anaweka wakfu kwa ajili ya uh, kukaimu nafasi ya mchungaji aliyekuepo. Umepokeaje? Uh, kwanza tuna sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu kwa hatua ambayo ametupa kutupa nafasi ya kutoa katibu mkuu wa Tanzania Assembly of God kanisa letu zuri la hapa Tanzania. Uh, tunamshukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hiyo ya kipekee lakini pia uh, kwa nafasi nyingine kwa kumpokea mchungaji mwingine mgeni of course ni mchungaji mpya ambaye ametufikia na tuna sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu kwa hilo na tunamwamini Mungu kwa ajili ya mambo makubwa ambayo yatatokea kuanzia mwaka wa 2022 kwa sababu katika kauli mbiu ya mwaka ya mwaka huu wa 2022 kwamba ni mwaka wa kuthubutu tena na Mungu ametu ametupa neema na kweli tumethubutu na tumeamua kumwamini Mungu a, katika maeneo hayo hata katika ili la kumruhusu baba yetu aliyepita mbeba maono yetu aliyepita kwenda na kwa ajili ya majukumu mbalimbali ya kitaifa na si tu furaha kwa sababu tupo sehemu yake kuungana pamoja naye kwa namna nyingine lakini pia tukiwa na baba mwingine hapa katika kanisa letu zuri la Mzumbe Christian Center International hapa Morogoro 
Yeah. Mungu akubariki sana. Amina asante sana na shukuru Mungu awabariki pia. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amina. Naitwa nani? Rita. Rita. Okay. Wewe ni mshirika hapa. Ndio. Ongereni kwa kumpata mgeni. Ah, tunashukuru sana. Yeah. Wewe unazungumziaje ujio wa mchungaji mpya ambaye mmempokea sasa hivi? Kwa kweli kila jambo lolotokea tunamshukuru Mungu. Kwa sababu kila kinachotokea ni kusudi la Mungu. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ni hatua nyingine na tunaamini kwamba amemwandaa kwa ajili yetu. Amen. Na kitu gani ambacho ulikifurahia sana kwa mchungaji Joseph na ambacho uwezi kwa kisahau? Kwa kweli alikuwa kama baba. Nikisema baba namaanisha ule ukaribu na alichukua kama watoto wake sio ile tu tunakutana kanisani ila alitujua zaidi na zaidi ya nashukuru Mungu sana. Tunamshukuru Mungu kwa kumpandisha kiwango kingine kwa kweli. Na mwaidi nini mchungaji mgeni sasa ambaye mmempokea leo? Hatutafanya tofauti kama tulivyokuwa kwa baba yetu na sisi tunaamini kwamba atatuchukua kama watoto wake kama mchungaji aliondoka alivyotulea. Amen. Barikiwe sana. Amen. Mtasamaji ni kutoka hapa katika kanisa la TAG Mzumbe Christian Center Morogoro NYTV tukio tumeripoti mimi ni Messi Malio endelea kufuatilia vipindi vyetu na taarifa mbalimbali barikiwa sana